Lifted up by the national champion, Anthony Bear, and behind it today we have the former national champions in this division. So, so we've got Brad McClure, the national champion, then Anthony Bear, the former champion, Jamie Oldfield, a former champion, Michael Hammond, a former champion, and also Brad Blake, a former champion in this division. So uh, they'll line up behind the current champion in Brad McClure. Following them through after that, because they're in Indian file, then they're three wide after that, Jason Oldfield in 84. The 22 car being driven by Ray Leonard, Sean Reed from Broome. Then the 83 at Daniel Amajuri, who's back in the ultra tune of Morley car, Ben Ridley in car two. Robbie Fowe in 41 from Victoria. The Aussie flag's flying proudly on Peter Seaton's car, which is decked out as the Aussie flag anyway. The three car of Colin Peden. Dominic Hughes with two West Aussie flags in the 66. Kenny McPherson in car number 14 is the next one through. Little Lock, Jamie Lock in car number 10 is the next car through. 25, John Zinner, a very, very proud Holden man from the Broome Speedway. Sean Peters, car number 32, the next one to join the, the crew. John Roycroft from Victoria in car 53 this weekend. Car number nine of Martin Kelly, the next one to join the crew in car number nine. 56, Stefan Cooper, who's had a pretty good run here in the Ultra Tune car. 71, Scotty Hunter coming up to uh, join the line, one of the Collie Speedway Club members in the Harvey Panel and Paint entry. The Vanzettis, unfortunately we've lost a Vanzetti uh, this weekend after a big crash last evening. And we'll just get the uh, name and number on car 106. So I still haven't mastered all the Vanzettis. That's Warren Vanzetti, Clint Udix. There's the 81 of Damien Amato. Darren Flatman, who we've already heard from today. What an interesting interview that was. Bronte Humphreys in 44. Matt Amato in 82. Tim Coxell in 28. 38 car of Bob Wakefield. Then Troy Nielsen in 87. Dave Padmore comes up in 26. 23 car joins the uh, the group in law, in uh, 23 Donald Irving car number 8 Mick Dan the 48 car is out there as well. They're all uh, now starting to line up for uh, the start of proceedings. Lloyd Wallace in 48. Anthony Healan's back, Shane Devonshire. Michael Pierce is back today, which is good after he only did one race. There's Brett Waddington in 17 from Tasmania. Jack Barnwell in 18. Chelsea Dunn from Broome in 55. Look at Warwick Hanbury's car. What a credit to actually get that car back out there. It does look second-hand. It does look like it's been in a demolition derby. In fact, it was in a demolition derby last night in the end, but it is crunched up a great effort, Warwick, to get back out there in number 97. Behind them, we've got Damon Brown, we've got Daniel Padala, and a whole host of other cars. Shane Winchbust is back there as well. Also, Matt Templer in 88. 77 further back is Corey Bald. We've got Greg Avens in little 11, Jeff Genev in four, Sean Fitzgerald in 67, Paul Joss in 69, 15 Wayne Thompson, Evan Wakefield in 21, Odin Smith from Broome in 75, the six car of Shane Corker, seven of Frank Corker, the 12 of Jason Mulgrew, the 73 of uh, Dick Hicks, all the Narragin cars coming out as one. Also out there is Shane Corker, and uh, a few more, Mark Furphy, Brendan McKeague, Trent Binoma, Warren Oldfield, and the last car to come out will be car number 37 of Kane Munro. It is Anzac Day 2010. Welcome here to the Allen Brook Speedway for day and night number two. Before we get underway, ladies and gentlemen, how about putting your hands together for all of them that have made it back for day number two, an extraordinary day's racing yesterday. They're all out of their cars. Put your hands together for them as we get ready for day number two. It's time to cross down trackside because to start proceedings, we're going to hear from the track chaplain in Terry Dorrington. They'll be followed by a minute's silence and then the National Anthem. Terry Dorrington, good afternoon.
Well, it looks like Terry's Terry's playing up, which is unusual to have Terry go quiet on us. <laughs> we'll uh, just get Terry sorted out. So a bit of a technicality, and we'll come back to Terry in just a moment. Rick's on his way up. We'll get this sorted hopefully very quickly. Testing, PA testing, system testing. was working beautifully. So I thought I'd switch it on, but uh, thank you for inviting me. This being Anzac Day, a special day for us as Australians, and uh, Marseille as a, as a visitor up here, it's a tremendous privilege and a great sight. And I'm just wondering if you would join with me as ask for God's blessing as we do over here in the West on this meeting. Lord, we thank you for Speedway. We thank you for the families that are part of it. We thank you for what it does with families and the greatness as it holds them together. And we thank you for the girls and guys that have come from over east. We thank you they came here safely. We, we pray that each driver will have a safe no, uh, day here and then when they go back home again that they'll have a safe trip back. We just now commit this meeting to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon and welcome to you for day number two. It's time to get the Grand Parade underway. We get all the drivers back in their cars because it's time to say, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines for day number two as we welcome everyone around Australia and the World Wide Web and here at the track for what should be a great day number two. Coming up shortly with the wingless sprints over eight laps, heats one and two, before we get underway with heat 25 of the national title. We do think of all the ANZACs today, and especially those, there was a tragic accident in Melbourne today where some of them were run over during a parade, and uh, they've all been taken to hospital, so we're thinking of those people today as well. Big crowd in here on ANZAC Day 2010. Welcome to you. We're going to have a great day's racing, no doubt about that, and it's all coming your way in just a moment here at the Ellenbrook Speedway. On a picturesque afternoon, there's not a cloud in the sky, and uh, we're looking forward to bringing you uh, great days racing. And as we've said several times today already, we have the keys to the lighting towers, <laughs> and, and they will be turned on at 5 o'clock today. And uh, there's no doubt that we're going to get it all in tonight. So uh, we're all happy about that after last night's dramas. Here we go.
Come on, Ellen Brook, put your hands together as they make their way around. About to enter turn number one, led by Nash, defending national title holder Brad McCullough, former national champions Jamie Oldfield, Michael Hammond, Anthony Bear. Bradley Blake, another former national champion. As they're halfway through turns one and two, they're only halfway through three and four. Big field of cars here at Ellenbrook Speedway. Promising you an absolute corker of a night's racing. Evan Wakefield yes, another going past. Beautifully presented car. Local favourite, Warren Oldfield. Kane Munro down from Carnarvon. <laughs> 